Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. As always, I just finished my work. And today I'm gonna show you my recent plan because I've been thinking to get an oil catch can for my FD. So let's see how it goes. Here you go, the Cusco oil catch can. Yeah, I kind of like the Cusco brand as always. So I've been using this brand for some of my previous cars, Evos. Yeah, I want to use the oil catch can to solve some issues in my intakes. It's quite oily sometimes. So, I don't know, it's my assumption of some kind of the oil coming out from some of the line here and it goes back to the turbo. I don't know, because to be honest, I don't really know how to install this properly because online there are so many different setups for there's different setups for different setup so depending on if you go single turbo or something else uh, I know some basics because uh, you can see the scroll instruction manual is very simple I have lots of money information but you will know is so the inlet will connect to the Oil filter, uh, so the nipple on the oil filter neck, so it's just somewhere around here. So this one is the oil fill, filler neck, so the inlet will connect to this one here. But the outlet is quite tricky. So the on the manual it says um, the breather holes, something, something, something like that. So the blow, blow by hose or something. I don't know, but I just use a translator to get some basic information. Anyways, so before we try to figure out how to install this thing, so let's see what's inside. Let's see, it's always the same design. So let's open it up. Hoses. So this one is just like a water hose, but should be pretty good. Yeah, as always, another free sticker. Some brackets. I think I think this particular one is designed for. Yeah, it's designed for the FD, and uh, you should actually put it on the. Uh, location around here but you can see so this design location already op occupied by the alarm and also the engine damper so I probably have to relocate somewhere else uh, let's see if I can do it just uh, should be able to work out so this one here uh, what's this all about? This thing. So I'm not sure what's this. Uh, let's have a look. So what do you guys think? What this thing? Uh, what's the function of this? Don't worry about it. We can figure it out later. So let's have a look. The oil catch can. Quality is not bad. Something inside. I don't know if I can hear something inside. Well, I think they're both can be used for inlet or outlet, so it doesn't matter about the directions. Yeah, just uh, so I need to try to figure out what's meaning. The problem with Cusco and car cars is that they never, they never has the, the English version instruction manual. Well, now it's all up to my imagination. So I try to, I try to see if there's any space around here, but it doesn't really work. 
to some new line here. Should I get rid of these things? Let me if I remove this and relocate. Uh, I really don't want to do that. So right now, um, the ideal location is here. This I can I can possibly find another bracket to mount it around the chassis. Mm -hmm. I think maybe there's an invisible here. Got the L bracket. I think I found a better location to mount my chassis. As you can see, I had to work on the bracket. So I had to do some cutting, some drills. So this whole big part doesn't work at all. What I'm trying to do is here so there's a hole on the, the radiator uh, of the intercooler mount something like that so you can see i can use the hole and you probably drill a hole down the bracket and, and mount this one here Then I can simply slide the auto catch can down here. So it's gonna be like here. I don't know if I can make it today, but yeah. And now it's nine o'clock and uh, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> So I've been thinking one hour trying to figure out the best location to install to secure the oil catch can. So right now everything seems finalized and uh, I just go get some food and come back and see if I can make it today or tomorrow. Hey guys, I cut the bracket today. And, uh, so not the best job, but it, it'll work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint this one black and just get some rust curler because this one is not the so this one is not a aluminum so it is steel and I'll just use a zip tie on this thing Ready? Yeah guys I've done a painting for the bracket and uh, so right now I just have to paint black paint to a little bit rust protection uh, so i'm heading home now and uh, try to figure out so I, first thing i'm gonna try to mount the oil catch can on the car first then i will check what what's the exact way to connect the outlet for the oil catch can so uh, technically it should be connected to the turbo intake and so i mean the, the inlet Inlet will be connected to the oil filter neck, but the uh, outlet should be uh, back to the turbo intake. I'm back, guys. So now it's time to put the oil catch can, oil catch can on it. And okay, let's get started. And just right now, you can see. think it should work well so I'm planning to put the bracket here okay, let's have a look and just I can rotate the bracket and to find out the best location to mount the catch can and also right now one more thing I was not very sure about so uh, just those, so these two lines, there's two hoses, so we have to figure out which one is which, so like this, and 
Now let's get the line, get the holes, get some measurement and the cutting. It's pretty much fun to watch. I think it's pretty safe. sure if I'm doing this correctly. Well, I know some basics, so some dirty oil and some films sucked in the catch can. But you just have the vacuum power to actually suck something from this line. So you have to connect this to one of the nipples there. And I will Try to remove both hoses and then just based on the nipple size, so be the apparently the two nipples on it. Just based on the size, I'm just made some judgment. Uh, so, if you guys know what exactly those two hoses are, uh, so please let me know in the comment sections. And, uh, I really appreciate it. But I'm trying to open it up and uh, see what do they look like. Uh, one of the lines is quite oily, so uh, a little bit. So. Yeah, so that's the e, pretty thin one. And, uh, let's find out this one here. You guys can have a look. So this one's bigger, one thinner. I believe. So the outlet should uh, should be connected to the pool. And we need to probably need to remove this thing. And remember, we still have the cover. Try. You take this out and use the another cover on the um, the feeder. So we just put it back here to block the whatever holes uh, probably to the. So my friend actually told me to blow some air into it. And see uh, where's the air come coming down from. So what I'm trying to do now is I will put, uh, disconnect this hose. I will blow the air through the hose, so you can see the air will go through the hose to the to the oil through the neck of the nipple, and there's the line there. So you can see they're the same size. So I think. So if, if my uh, if my guesstimation is correct, so some air will coming out from this point, and that's the that's the soul. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, for sure. So something you have to really start doing it. So you have to do it, and uh, so that during the time when you do it, you can figure out something. Because if you don't do it. You never know what's going on. Yeah. Well, surprisingly, so my guess mission was wrong. So when I blow air 
over here going to the imperial neck so there the air is actually coming out from the inner one and the smaller holes here all right hold up so what is the upper one now i think i know what should i do now so i'm gonna remove the small hoses Also pretty tight. Just so I'm gonna remove this one. You see the see the hole there. So let's put some cover on it. So I need to put a cover in there to block. Correct size cap. So my solution is this. So silicon holes and the screw <laughs> so on the front. So maybe I can try to block it, see how it goes. It's a temporary solution. So yeah, so it looks like it's done. Someone can let me know. That would be great. Yeah. So, apparently, you want to try to prevent any contact with the dry belts. So, I'm doing. I'm gonna connect this. And push it down. Then go from this hole. Yeah. So the the radiator hose can probably support the. This one a little bit, and so I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so so this is the claim, and so the final. So finally, finally, I'm going to finish this today. Pretty tight. It's gonna have to exercise too much. So Back to the turbo intake. Too much. I think it's gonna not gonna come off. But yeah, sometimes you know it's not so easy to film. Also, find out my iPhone speaker or the, the microphone maybe has some problem. I find maybe not easy to hear the sound. So this is my setup. So on the can for the inlet, outlet. So all that goes back to the turbo intake. And I think I I right now I'm just hundred percent sure I'm. I also claim the holes on the oil filter neck. So the dirty oil go from here all the way down to the cash tank. And the clean air will go out from the cash tank back to the intake. It should be alright. the video will help you to get some ideas on how to set up your oil cash can in the 5.7 FD. So, should I 
at the video.